I guess has appeared as same a number of times, and is therefore somehow appropriate for this final show because it will undoubtedly be shepherding in the end times of the unholy apocalypse where everything will go all dark and look like the end of Ghostbusters and L. Ron Hubbard's giant floating head will appear and devour your souls. But that's hopefully not going to happen tonight. He's going to use all of his profits to buy himself a new neck. He looks like Guy Sebastian with Down Syndrome. He wasn't born Asian, but one day in primary school he was racially vilifying an exchange student in the playground and the wind changed. He is very much looking forward to that. He is the wonderful, the incomparable Jeff Hewitt. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, uh, Mac, for burning all my punchlines. That's, that's great. <laughs> so, um, last week I was given a Tickle Me Elmo, which I liked a lot more than my first toy, the Finger Me Roger. <laughs> yeah. What is the deal <laughs> with birds singing in the morning? Is it some kind of mystical, beautiful nature song beyond human comprehension? Or are they saying something uh, really mundane like, wake up cunts? <laughs> Sun's up, you fucking cunt. No. <laughs> I was trying to riff, but I just had a fantastic show and this, frankly, this is a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for your completely unjustified applause. I... <laughs> we love you, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Apps. <laughs> All right, so uh, do, you, do you guys like St. Bernard dogs? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I love St. Bernard dogs. Uh, the reason I bring it up, and that's a good segue, don't knock my segue. <laughs> no, no, this is true. Like, I'm, I'm 37, right? And I honestly believed uh, for, m for my whole life that St. Bernard dogs were like angels of the Alps wandering around the snow with a barrel of brandy attached to the necks, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Turns out that's a myth! And I was really bummed because I was looking forward to maybe introducing that concept to Australia and having a blue healer wandering around the outback with a fucking goon bag attached to its neck. Yeah, that would have been sick because the outback is a harsh environment. It is. You can get thirsty in the outback. Any tourists? <laughs> just, just you know, take a hot tip. The hot, the outback is very harsh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I'm going to do some relatable observational here now. Yeah, we can all relate. We can connect. Uh, so, ha have any of you guys ever had to avenge your father's death? <laughs> oh. Yeah, me neither. All right. Uh, have uh, any of you guys ever had a circle jerk? Yeah, me neither. Uh, I'm not a circle jerk kind of guy. I'm, I'm not. Like, when I pleasure myself, I much prefer the comfort and privacy of my parents' rumpus room. Uh, all right, how about, uh, have you ever made out with your girlfriend and become semi-erect on, on the road to full tumescence, as it were? And, uh, whilst you're making out, uh, no, no, sorry. After you make out, your girlfriend, and before the foreplay starts, your girlfriend goes to the bathroom to, to freshen up. And while she's in the bathroom, you fall asleep and have a wet dream. And then your girlfriend leaves you because you can't satisfy her sexually. So you have to start performing stand-up comedy. <laughs> Just so you know what it feels like to be loved again. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, me neither. Me. Yeah, that never happened. Uh, I don't know, I thought of such a ludicrously specific scenario. So how about that Game of Thrones? <laughs> Any uh, Game of Thrones fans? Good enough for me, all right. Coming back in April, I've read all the books. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Uh, so the, the fans here, um, please tell me, uh, who's your favorite Asian character on Game of Thrones? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you white devils. <laughs> and, and you know, it's hard for me. I'm Eurasian, you know, I'm half Filipino. It's hard being a Eurasian fantasy fan because the fantasy genre is probably the whitest genre there is. And it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Because, you know, if you look at the worlds, right? Westeros and Middle Earth, they're, they're full of dragons. And dragons are one of the most Asian things you can get. 
Like, have you guys ever been to China? I haven't, but the Chinese are completely gay for dragons. They are. I'm just saying, like, cherry picking the dragons with, without the Asian people, it's like cherry picking white people without the slavery and One Direction and like, Hall and Oates and all the shitty dance music and all the white pricks who are looking at me and. <laughs> Like, it seems to be segregated. It's all white over here, and we've got Asians over here. I'm gonna play to these. These are my people. I'm gonna get fucked. And I'm, I'm allowed to say, because my dad's white, so uh, just relax, white people. Hey, guys. But yeah, you know, it's ridiculous. It's almost like these white devil authors. I'm just playing to my crowd, people. My demographic. What the fuck are you doing there, man? Brad Hearn? Whitest person I know? <laughs> it's like these white devil authors deliberately omit Asians from the narrative. And that's why they call it fantasy. Yeah. So I want to correct the imbalance. So I've started writing my own uh, epic fantasy series. And it's all Asian heroes, Asian kings, Asian goblins. No white people whatsoever. Except maybe in book five, we can have some white characters, they can be slaves, yeah? And the, the white slaves will be ultimately liberated by the Chinese general Spartacus Ching. And this will all be part of my best-selling epic fantasy series, The Song of Rice and Papaya. Yeah. What is the deal... What is the deal with wanking? Like, have you ever noticed? You, you love to do it. Oh, of course, yeah. Okay, I'm, these are my people here. All right. Like, have you ever noticed, sir? Like, like wanking's quite an amusing concept. We're all having a chuckle now, but when you're actually doing it in the heat of the moment, it's really fucking serious. Like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about in his head. The what? It's all serious business. Yeah, exactly, sir. That's my entire point. And don't step on my punch nose, you white prick. <laughs> No, no, it, it's true, it's serious business. Uh, you know, no one laughs or giggles during wanking or sex for that matter, because that would be horrible, you know? Like, I'll give you an example, like you, you sir, what's your name? Callum. Callum, that's a good name. So, you know, if you're having a wank, it's normal to make noises like, oh, Callum. Oh, you're so white, Callum. Oh, fuck me, fuck me hard. You know, see, that's normal. But if you're like, <laughs> Fucking horrible, man. If I heard that going on in the next room, I'd be like, oh, great, Dr. Evil's having a bat. Skeletor's self abusing again. I'm never gonna have Callum as a housemate. <laughs> Alright, guys, uh, I think, is that my time? Yep. Um, <laughs> you guys need a break. I'm, I'm fucking off to the late night girl. I'm coming back. Uh, stay beautiful. Good night. Yeah! Jeff Hewitt, ladies and germs. Jeff is running out the door to go on late night gala and he bloody well better be back in time for his other appearance on my show. <laughs> Jeff Hewitt. <laughs>